So today is the day I become a doctor. Really, really excited. It's a, it's a special day today. Benjamin Francis, on behalf of the university, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Business Administration honoris causa. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Aston as a university and every individual here for the constant support in the background. Um, whilst leaving in my second year, Aston have always kept in touch. They've always been there to support and genuinely that's been incredibly important to me. Um, I'm honoured that you've chosen me to award this doctorate and I'm sure is as probably the case for many of you in this room. I was actually the first person in my family to attend university. Um, when I actually did my GCSEs, I, I didn't really get enough, good enough grades to get into my A-levels. Um, and it was my mum that actually like, grabbed me around the neck and told me to go back to school. Um, so if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have even gotten to university in the first place. So thank you, mum. You should all be incredibly proud of yourselves for graduating, and it's something that I wish I could have done. I was just faced with a decision where I had to do an exam or do a shift at Pizza Hut or go and do an event at, for Gymshark and I fortunately chose to do the, um, to do the event. And as Tom mentioned, I, I studied international business at Aston and again the reason I did that was because it's a brilliant business school. Um, the focus on practical skills and entrepreneurialism was, it stood out to me by a million miles and because I love the city of Birmingham as well. And I grew up locally to here and I know that this place is full of hard working, down to earth, genuine people. And whilst I was at Aston University, I started Gymshark. Um, as Tom mentioned, it was the seventh business that I'd started. The other six failed miserably, some more quickly than others. Um, and the first ever Gymshark t-shirt after selling supplements was shipped to what was then called the new build accommodation here to a friend's room uh, and I've still got that picture of the first ever Gymshark t-shirt that was literally taken across the road. Um, and now today Gymshark has become this crazy thing I never thought it would be, right? I bought the domain for £3.50 off GoDaddy and I didn't really think it would be anything but it became the fastest growing company in the, in the UK, the fastest growing company in the history of the West Midlands. And in the last 12 months, we've done over half a billion in revenue through our website alone, and we've broken our historical sales number. <laughs> I'm incredibly proud, and I found this out the other day in the gym, that we've broken a billion in historic sales as well. So that was a huge moment for me and there's so many things that are happening right now that I never thought would happen. And I talk a lot publicly, online, in speeches about how much fun my job is. But I also think it's important for me, as you guys, as well as everyone in here embarks on their next stage of their careers, I tell you that it is so tough and it is so hard and it is so testing and every day I'm pushed to my absolute limit. And I vividly remember in the early days, before that first event, we had 34p in the bank walking into that room and I had no idea what was going to happen. And by the way, I think other people were in a similar situation. I was one of the lucky ones who managed to make a success of it. As you move forward, you'll have difficult times and I'm sure you will doubt yourself in some way every day. And I'm here to tell you that I still do the exact same thing. So if you do doubt yourself, just get through it and move on. I'm a true believer that if you follow your passion, you dedicate yourself to it fully, and you surround yourself with great people, then you will, you will be successful in life. And before I finish, I've got one request that I would like to make of everyone in this room. This is the first ever graduation ceremony that I've been to. My perception of this is that it's a little bit of a celebration of the end, a celebration of the end of your learning. But I'd really like you to think about this as the beginning of your learning journey. A very wise friend of mine, who is wildly successful, told me something a while ago that really stuck with me. 
and it relates to business, and he said, for an individual to remain in a company, they must change at equal to or above the rate of the change in that business. Now, if you're gonna be in a fast growing business, that means you as an individual need to change rapidly. And the only way to do that is through a disciplined approach to lifelong learning. You cannot stop learning now. So today, you cannot see this as the end of your learning journey, but the beginning. And I believe if you adopt a mindset of lifelong learning, you realize that without other great people, nothing is possible, and you follow your passion, you'll be successful in whatever you do. Congratulations, I'm proud of each and every one of you, and I'm excited for the incredible journeys that you all now will embark on. Thank you.